first could I pay my respects to the traditional owners of the land upon which we are gathered, the members of the Kulin Nation, and pay my deep personal respects to their elders, past and present. Uh, I bring to you uh, greetings from the City of Melbourne. I, I can say it is an honour to be here. Um, I don't want to add much to what Robbie said, except to say that awareness of our Indigenous history is vital to our understanding as our, of ourselves as a nation and as people. And I think one of the things we have to understand about that is it's okay to focus on the things which are admirable, but there are also things which are shameful. And we need to look at those things which are shameful squarely in the eye. If we are honestly prepared to do that, uh, then I believe we can start to make some differences in the way that we do understand how we have come to be the people we are and how lucky it is that we are standing here together. Um, so I wanted to also pay tribute, if I may say, to Joe Toscano. Um, when I said that we often don't know these stories uh, that are right in the midst of our own community, I didn't know this story uh, until uh, Joe made it clear to me and a couple of people who are, are supporters and, and carriers of the, the flame, if you like, uh, made this known to me during the course of the Lord Merrill uh, election campaign and I made the commitment uh, to Joe and to others that I would come down here and help you mark this, uh, this, in a way, commemoration. I wouldn't call it a celebration because of what Robbie has said, but uh, I was very pleased to do so, uh, and I remain pleased to do so. Um, so, Joe, thank you very much for helping to spread those stories and helping us to understand that we do need to look our own history squarely in the eye. Thank you very much for having me down here, and uh, I look forward to commemorating.